I'm scoring a 99-yard touchdown with the fastest player in every college football game ever made. Starting off at NCAA Football 2002 with Texas's Roy Williams at 93 speed. All right, boys, here we go. Attempt number one. We're going to take a shot up top. He's behind the DB, but he stops short. All right, so I'm not really sure what, what the... Uh, What's the best way to go about this is going to be? If it's going to be a lob, if it's going to be a bullet. Chris Sims, the quarterback, has 93 throw power. So, you know what I mean? He should be able to get it out there. This time we hit him on a bullet, and he makes a man miss. He's off to the races here on attempt number three, and 2002 is in the books. Here we are in NCAA football 2003. We almost had to do it with Roy Williams once again, but we're actually going to go with 82 overall red shirt senior Leonard Scott of Tennessee. All right, boys, attempt number one here with Leonard Scott. We're going to take a shot deep, 97 speed. Alabama's corner is with him. Oh, my goodness. And in one play, breaking a tackle, Leonard Scott is off to the races. Who would have seen that coming? All right, boys. So here in NCAA 04, we got our first 99 speed siding. We got Oregon State's James Newsom. He's a 92 overall. This should be fun. So far here, boys, in the earlier games, we've been having some quick hitters because the speed difference is insane, but we just broke, oh my, I thought he caught it, but it's really been the broken tackles and everything like that. Derek Anderson trying to hit his guy. He's got a step, he doesn't have him beat all the way, a little bit under thrown, they make the tackle. Can Derek Anderson get this pass out there? He's got some pressure, he's got the blitz. He's throwing that one up and it's batted away. We got some time, takes a step, takes a shot, under thrown, caught, and he almost broke the tackle. All right, boys, here we go, let's see what we got. The blitz is getting in. We're going to take a shot deep. It looks like he might have overthrew everybody he did. Giving ourselves more time here. This one's underthrown. Could he go up and make a play? He does, but he's brought down. All right, here we go. Trying to go up top once again. Bring, leaving some extra guys in the block. Taking a shot. Getting it out there. Make a play. Newsom is batted down. All right, so this, this one has been a little bit harder than expected. We almost get sacked there, and that ball is dropped. There we go. That's a good, clean pocket, good, clean throw, and it's dropped. Newsom is not, is not coming down with tough catches. All right, boys, here we go. Give me some time to throw the ball. Thank you. That's a good throw. Get there, Newsom. Ah! Oregon State is better than Oregon in this game, too, so you would think it wouldn't be that, that difficult. But Derek Anderson just ain't the quarterback that we had with everybody else. That was brought down. He breaks the tackle, and there we go. Newsom finally comes down with it, and he is going to get into the end zone. All right, boys, here we are, NCAA 2005, and we get to have some fun because my boy from the U, Devin Hester is the fastest receiver in the game at 99 overall. All right, boys, here we go. First attempt with Devin Hester. Instead of Brock Berlin, we went with Kevin Wright just because he has more throw power. Here we go. We'll try to get a true one-on-one -on -one there. He's with him step for step. Oh, he comes down with it, though. He misses the swat. He's got some speed. Is he going to catch Hester? He is not. We're in the end zone. Let's go. All right, boys. So NCAA 06, we got Ohio State's Ted Ginn at 90 overall, 99 speed. All right, boys. Here we go. First attempt with Ted Ginn. We're taking the shot deep. Can he get behind the man? Oh, he drops it. This time, he, he's with him step for step, stride for stride. What a catch, but he can't get behind him. He, can't, he couldn't break a tackle there. He's going to take another shot deep. This one is perfectly thrown. He goes for the bat down. He misses the ball, misses the tackle, and that is going to be six for Ted Ginn Jr. All right, boys, NCAA 07. Ted Ginn Jr. is a 99 speed again, but we're actually going to go with Xavier Carter this time around. He's been a 99 speed in the last three NCAAs we played. All right, boys, we got one of the strongest arms ever in Jamarcus Russell. Oh, my goodness, the pressure was unreal. And that's a great throw. We make the first catch, but he's brought down. There we go, Jamarcus. Oh, he's going this time. Beautiful ball. Break, miss it. Make it a miss. Make it another miss. No, we jump. He auto jump, but he jumped straight out of bounds. That was six, boys. Jamarcus stepping into that one. He's got him beat once again, and this time it's intercepted. These don't count as attempts if I don't want to throw the ball up, but geez, oh man. There we go, Jamarcus. Get rid of the god dang ball. Another interception. There we go, Jamarcus. Finally, beautiful ball is caught, but he's brought down. Get it out there, kiddo. Bang. Oh, he had to die for it. So Carter's behind his man almost every single time, but Jamarcus is just not really putting it where it needs to be. Maybe if I bullet it, let's see this. Nope, right to him. Throw it on a run, out of bounds. Jamarcus isn't playing, isn't throwing the ball that well, man. There we go. Oh, we're going now. We're going now. Finally, we get it done. Beautiful ball. Carter's in the end zone 
on to PS3. All right, boys, here we are, NCAA 08 on next gen back then the PS3. And the best receiver in the game is going to be Florida's 90 overall, Percy Harvin. This man was a cheat code in this game. All right, boys, we got Tim Tebow throwing the ball up to Percy Harvin. Let's see what we can do. Here we go. One-on-one -on -one coverage. We're going up top. Very first play. And it's caught, but he can't break the tackle. He needs 50 more yards. All right, so we had great blocking up front here. Attempt number one. Not so much attempt number two. Percy Harvard trying to get behind the defender. is batted down. Back to pass again. Tebow going up top. He has an arm. Harvin behind the defender, but he jumps on his back. All right, here we go. Tebow really putting his all into this one. Oh, yeah, Harvin has a step. I think he's going. It was a little bit underthrown, but he's not going to be caught that 99 speed is real and he's in the end zone all right boys so here at ncaa 09 we cannot avoid the duplicates percy harvin is the fastest receiver by one whole point so we can't go to the 97s so we will be rocking out with florida and the gators once again all right boys here we go ncaa 09 percy harvin tim tebow not having a lot of time to throw the ball back there the, the, oh my goodness what a catch by percy tebow has some time to throw Percy Harvin has a step. No, he actually gets beat. All right, Tebow, get it out there to him, baby. That's all I'm asking. Give it, give it, give our guy a chance. Give him a shot. I know Tebow had an arm like that. I wish he did in, in the NFL, right? There we go. Come on, Percy, go get it. Tim Tebow keeps keeps overshooting Percy. Maybe if we throw a bullet to him, that hit him in the face. The, George, the UGA defender went for the swap, missed it, and Percy Harvin let him hit it in the face. Hit him in the face. This time he hits him. There we go. Lead him, break a tackle, Percy. There we go. Surveying, can he get a step on him? Tim Tebow's terrible in this game. Who would have thought Tim Tebow would be terrible in this game, boys? This team was so good. He breaks the tackle, Percy Harvin had to do it himself, man, because Tim Tebow was never, ever, ever going to get him to where it is he needed to be. All right, guys, so one of my personal favorites, NCAA football 2010, the fastest receiver in the nation is only a 97 speed. It's going to be Jacoby Ford of Clemson. All right, boys, first attempt, Jacoby Ford. Here we go. Corn is the quarterback. I don't remember Corn as the quarterback for Clemson, but it is, it is what it is. Here we go. Taking a shot. You go what I've noticed on Heisman on these on these on these older in on these older games is you're gonna have to you're gonna have to have somebody make somebody miss or break a tackle in order to complete this mission, man. Boom, right there. He's brought down immediately. We're gonna need some luck. And as those y'all remember, man, when I had a series in this game, this is one of the hardest games in the whole entire series, bro, when it comes to big plays, passing the ball, you know what I'm saying, running the ball. It, this game is not easy whatsoever. Try here with the bullet. Can he miss it? We got to break a tackle. Need Jacoby Ford to get right. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Get that separation. What the fuck? Come on, bro. Quarterback is giving you every opportunity to be great here. Good. This game's brain dead. I'm going to have to try to stack them and make a play. I don't even know what, what attempt number we're on. I'm just out here. YOLO. Break a tackle. He's only there. He's not even an 80, bro. Got to break a tackle, big dog. Ah, he, yo, this dude is on every play. Got to burn him now. He's not the same speed as you. Come on, Jacoby. Come on, Jacoby. Come on, four. Come on, six. Finally, we get it done. Oh my God. All right, boys. So things are kind of weird here in NCAA 11. We have a bunch of receivers that are 97 speed, but take a look at their acceleration ratings. They are terrible. So we're going to pick who has the highest acceleration. And it looks like out of the 97 speed, that's going to be Shaquille Evans out of Notre Dame. He's an 82 overall. And that's who we'll rock out with. All right, boys. So we got our, we got our, we got our guy, our main man in the slot here. He's going up against a safety, so one would think this would be kind of easy. But Dane Crist, I don't know if he has what it takes to be the quarterback we need to get this challenge done. Our man has a step, and he just cannot deliver a, you know, a, a strike. Attempt number, I don't know. Attempt number, get the ball out to the receiver. That's a dot, but he's brought down. Pressure in our face. We deliver a strike. I hope he just burned everybody. He's going. <gasps> this mother, he dropped it. Get right here. Oh, that's a good ball. He's got a step. We got to keep jumping for the pass. Hit him in stride. Yeah, put a little, put a little, a little more touch on it. Ah, it worked, but damn. 
Go up and yo, we we put some of these passes on the money, and uh, the, the, the we should have had a touchdown already. The main one that wasn't a touchdown is is 100 on the quarterback, bro. I mean, 100 on the receiver, who we're highlighting here today. So that's frustrating as hell. He's got another step on him. This time, he's got this dude super beat. Oh my god! Well, I thought these newer games are gonna be a piece of cake. We so much you so much more used to playing these games. You gotta catch those. Got him beat. Held on to the rock. You got a safety you want to want. That's the one. This I user caught it and he still dropped it. Behind the defense once again. It's not it's not it's never by much in another drop. Ah, uh, he doesn't have enough space there. Oh my goodness, what a catch. Finally. This might have been the longest attempt ever here in NCAA 11. All right, boys, so here in NCAA football 12, the fastest receiver is gonna be Bryce Butler, 97 speed. He does have that low 79 acceleration, but we're gonna rock out with who they believe is the true fastest receiver in the whole entire game. All right, boys, here we go with USC. Their jerseys are glitched. We are on an emulator, but we're, we're just gonna rock out with how, with how it does. I think, I think the black jersey looks actually pretty dope. Bryce Butler on the very first play gets by his man. He makes a catch. Can he break a tackle? He does, but not the second. Back to pass once again. Matt Barkley is his QB. He was the best quarterback in the nation at the time. He beats his man easily again, but this time he drops it. All right, boys, here we go. Bryce Butler's beating his man every single time. This dude can't guard him. It's really just to if it's a bad throw or not, but that time it's a good one. He makes a man miss. He's off to the races, and we're in the end zone. All right, boys, so here at NCAA 13, we're going to rock out with Clemson's Sammy Watkins. There are four wide receivers at 96 overall, but Sammy has that 98 excel. Relax. Way to pick up the blitz for me. Can Sammy Watkins go up and make a play? And he break first play from scrimmage. Can you believe it? We haven't seen that in a long time. We are on NCAA 14 by way of college football revamped. And the fastest receiver in the nation is going to be Kermit Whitfield out of Florida State. He's a 96 speed. He has 96 Excel. Behind him is Marquise Lee, Shelton Gibson, Shaquille Evans, to name a few. Uh, we got an 81 overall, 5'7 receiver. Let's see if we can get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been so long since I have played college football revamped. It don't even look the same, boys. And with a 5'7 receiver, I'm not really sure how we're going to have to go about this. Um, I don't know why Jameis Winston keeps freaking uh, pump faking there. There we go. We got some blocking. He's got a man. He's got him beat deep. And just like that, speed kills. I hate that I have to score against my favorite team, but that is how we're going to end the video. All right, boys. So I made a mistake. I'm pretty stupid. I'm so used to ending videos off on NCAA 14, but we have one more NCAA in this college football 25. So the fastest receiver in college football 25, we all know and love him. Nick Harbour, 99 speed, 99 excel, 6'5", 235, the South Carolina Gamecocks. Let's get it. So for the newest game, I put defenses on, on, uh, on random, that way we don't know what they're running ever. And we might even see it in say catch from Nick Harbour. So we're gonna get different looks, safety help. I've been doing no safety help for all the other games. But you know, this game's a little bit newer. We know how to play it a little bit better. Looks like they're walking the safeties down and I didn't run a fly route. I ran a comeback route, but we gotta make somebody miss. All right, I need y'all, I need y'all to block for me one time for the one time, let's go. That's enough time. Oh yeah, beat him. Easy work. And that's how the video is going to come to an end we get into the end zone with nick harbour man click right here if you want to see me score a touchdown with every heisman winner in ncaa football video game history also if you're still here go ahead and sub to the channel put on post notice that way you'll never miss a video it took me a long time to put this video together and i will really appreciate it and it will make it all worth it if you do that for me i'll catch you in the next one